Hello Stampers! Jackie Ballhuis from Comp and Stampers. Today I'm going to introduce you to another new bundle in the new catalog and the stamp set is called Celebrate Sunflowers. And you know what? Just for real, this very moment, as I'm looking at myself recording this, I realized my shirt kind of matches the stamp set. So, sidetrack, you know me, I tend to do that. Anyhow, this is awesome. This sunflower is huge. And I have an easy card I'm going to share with you today as I introduce you to this bundle. Um, we're not going to use the dies on the one that I have to stamp for you, but I have about four or five other cards that I'm going to share that use the dies and show you how the dies and the stamp set can work together. So you can use just the stamp set, just the dies, or combine the two for awesome looks. Now, like I said, this is in the brand new catalog. If you don't already have one of these catalogs and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. I'd love to get a catalog to you and I'd love to help you with all your Stampin' Up! needs. So hop over to my website, right down there in the description of this video, you'll see a link that will take you over there. Click on catalogs and you can request one. You can also contact me there or leave me a comment if you have any questions. So let's flip the camera down and let's get started. So this is what the bundle looks like. We've got the dies and we've got the stamp set. Now a quick reminder, and I don't wanna do a lot of chit chat, but right now during the month of June, if you join Stampin' Up! and the Clompin' Stampers, you get to pick any bundle for free. The starter kit is only $99. You pick out $125 of whatever you want from this catalog plus any bundle. So this is one that you could pick it is a tremendous deal and i just want to invite you to join the clomp and stampers you know what if you're a hobby demonstrator you just like stamping up products it's the best way to go 20 percent off on all your purchases why pay full price i'd love to share more with you so if you have questions please reach out to me i don't want you to miss out on this great opportunity to get the best deal on all these brand new products because i know you have a big long wish list okay let's set this aside and like i said today i want to focus on the stamp set but then i have samples to show you where i combine the stamp set and the dies and even some cards with just the dies but i also want to share a technique with you called masking and you'll understand here in a second what that is and what it means so we are just inking up our big sunflower and i'm going to stamp it down here kind of on the bottom left. I want it to come off of my cardstock a little bit. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to also stamp it on a post-it note. This is for our little masking technique. You know what, just for fun so that you can understand more what I'm doing, I'm gonna stamp one on scrap paper as well. How's that? Okay, then what we're going to do is take a scissors and I am going to trim around this, cut it out. Um, but you do want to, when you cut out, cut right on those lines. Even if you're kind of cutting the line off a little bit. Now this kind of goes against what I normally say when we fussy cut images, because I always say with fussing, fussy cut, leave a little bit of a white border. Now when you're masking, that's not the case. We want to really kind of cut those lines off. So let me just go ahead and cut this out and I'll be back to show you what I'm gonna do with it. There we go, that's good enough. I don't need that left edge. You know, one thing that I did not tell you as I was stamping these, and it will help you with this, especially with this sunflower, it is a little tricky lining this up um, and getting it to match perfectly. So when I stamped this, I held my stamp a certain way and I stamped on there, and then I held the stamp the same way when I stamped on here. So I know this will line up that way. I mean, if it's off a little bit, that's okay, but we know that this is the top and that just makes this part a little bit easier. Now, we're ready to stamp some leaves. Whoops, sticky notes everywhere here. Let's move those, they're stuck. Now, the reason we are going to do this technique called masking is if I just wanted to stamp leaves up here, Either I'm gonna to get too close and the leaf is going over the flower, or I might be too far away and it looks like the leaf is just floating. Masking is what will help with that. So what I'll do is I'll put my little mask, that's what we call this, 
and cover up my original image. Now, if you can see, it's probably kind of hard to see here, you can see the outline of my stamping. That's critical, you want to do that. You wanna make sure the mask covers up our image, but you can still see the outline. And then I'm gonna ink up my leaf and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it onto the mask. Now we're gonna put a couple of them there and I think we'll put one right down there. Now, when I pick up the mask, you'll see how my leaf appears to be coming from underneath the flower instead of on top of the flower or floating away from the flower. So that's the reason we do this technique called masking. Now, what we'll do next is we will just grab our black. I have one of the um, greetings from the stamp set. Let's celebrate you. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp it right there like so. And then to, before I put my card together, we'll do a little bit more stamping. I have the inside piece here, because you know me, if you follow me, you've heard this a million times. Whenever my card base is not white, I really like to put a piece of white inside. I think it just makes for a more finished um, looking card as opposed to that color on the inside. So then we have another greeting from the stamp set. Everything I'm using is from that Celebrate Sunflowers. And then there's the smaller one. Now you'll notice this image also has leaves, but I don't want the leaves. So we're just getting the flower part of it coming off our cardstock. So that kind of finishes it up for the inside. And then remember, don't forget to stamp your envelopes. Now usually I stamp the front of it. This one I thought it would be kind of fun to do a bunch of these sunflowers on the back here on the flat. Now again, I'm making sure I don't get the leaf. I don't, I don't want the leaves, I just want the smaller flower. So there is the flap of my envelope and then glue it together, magic of, of TV. We got all our parts and pieces here. There is our, our card. Quick and easy, just using stamps, ink and paper. So I like to call those SIP cards. You know, sometimes we get all wrapped up in needing so much stuff. You know, I like to often go back to just sip stamps, ink, and paper. But now let's take a look at some more cards that you'll see when you bring in the dies, what you can do. Okay, so now if you look at the dies, you'll see these here are outline ones, so they will cut out our stamped images. We've got the small sunflower, the big one, there's leaves, there's also a set of small leaves in the stamp set. And then there's the other pieces that just cut out the dies. So what I did, we'll start with this one. This I made very similar to our simple card here. Just stamped them on scrap paper, cut out the flower, cut out three of the leaves, and I popped them up with dimensionals. Now over on the website, Again, there's a link down there in the video description. I will have pictures of all the cards I'm sharing with you along with the recipes and all the products I use. So you'll real easily be able to make these if you would like to. Here's that textures embossing folder, my new favorite, um, using that one so much on some of our new designer series paper. So there's the first one. So all, all we've done here was combine the stamps and then cut them out with the dies. Now, if you don't want to get the dies, you could easily fussy cut these if you would like to. Now, let's take a look at this one. Now, can you see the stamped image underneath? Here, I stamped and cut it out, so it was just like this. And then I also, and I've got Crush Curry as my card, cardstock, no, bumblebee, stamped with crushed curry ink, but my cardstock is that new bumblebee color. Then I cut out with this die, which is all this detail. And then this little center is that piece. And I did the same thing with the leaves. They're stamped and cut out with that piece, but then I put the detail one right on top of it. So it just gives it a little bit more of a pop, um, having that detailed die on top of it. Now, so we've done just stamps, stamps and cut them out. Here we have a combination. And then for the final one, I didn't stamp the flower at all. I just cut out the shape with this piece and then I layered on top of it the detailed one and did the exact same thing with the leaf. So it just gives it that dimensional texture. So here's that cinnamon, cinnamon cider, I believe it's called, new color and the jade and the bumblebee. So there you go, and then inside as well. So there you go. The Well, actually four different ways that you can use this bundle. Just the stamps, 
the combination or cutting out the stamps, the combination, or just the dies. So love this bundle. I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of this. And you know, we tend to go to these colors, but it'd be fun to do in any colors. So don't forget, this is one of the bundles you can select for free if you join the Clompin' Stampers and Stampin' Up! during the month of June. Don't miss out on that super great deal to get all those fun things that you have on your wish list with this brand new catalog starting this month. So reach out to me with all your questions. I'd love to have you. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Leave me a comment. Go over to my blog. Send me a message that way as well. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.